The scale, baby, is the devil. It's the devil. It's the devil. When I tell you this scale right here, this thing is the devil. Guys, it's your girl Lay In, and on today's segment of Ask Lay, we are talking about one of the key things that helped me on my health and fitness journey, and I know that it will help you guys too. The scale is the devil. Yes, this little thing right here can cause such a great impact on your journey in a negative way if you let this control you mentally. Yes, the scale is the devil. The reason I say the scale is the devil, because you should not let the scale control you on your health and weight loss journey. One of the things that I like to do when you're on a journey is use pictures, use before pictures on your journey coming down, no matter if you do pictures weekly, bi-weekly, take pictures, pictures and doing your measurements and monitoring how your clothes start to change and fit on your body. Those are the key elements that help you on your weight loss journey, not the scale. You could stand on the scale and they could say, oh, you've lost no pounds. But when you take pictures and you try on your clothes, you will notice that, oh, my clothes may fit different around my waistline. Or, oh, my clothes fit a little baggy on my hips. Oh, my chest has gone down. But those are things that you would never know if you only judged it by stepping on the scale. The only thing the scale is accurate in is weighing your food so you can make sure you have the proper food intake. But when it comes to a health and fitness journey, no, do do not use the scale because as you lose fat, you will also be gaining muscle mass. Lean muscle mass is smaller than fat. You ever seen those pictures where it's five pounds of fat here versus five pounds of muscle and the five pounds of muscle may look this small while the five pounds of fat may look this huge? Yes, fat is way bigger than muscle. So do not use the scale to judge your weight loss journey. Scale will cause anxiety. The scale will make you feel like you aren't putting in enough work or you aren't doing good enough when you really are. I don't care what nobody tells you. Stop letting the scale dictate your weight loss journey. The scale does not determine if you're a failure. What determines your results are one, the effort you put forth daily. Tracking your nutrients, what you put inside your body. Are you feeding your body what it needs in order to get the results? Waking up and showing up for yourself daily. Working out, burning calories, breaking a sweat and monitoring your progress by your measurements and taking pictures. Those are the things that will help you reach your goal, relieve all the stress and anxiety that comes along on a weight loss journey. Do not let the scale dictate your goals. You can do anything that you put your mind to. All you have to do is continue to show up for yourself and take your before and after pictures and check your measurements. Do not let the number on the scale control you.